On the side of the device, there's a mini USB port which connects to any powered USB port to operate and charge the DIR506L. The on-off switch turns the DIR506L on and off. And there's an Ethernet port that connects to your modem or a wired device depending on what mode you're using. On the top, there's a WPS button which makes it easy to set up a secure wireless connection with your devices. The reset button lets you reboot the device or reset it back to the factory default settings. And the USB port connects to a USB storage drive for quick and easy file sharing through SharePort Mobile. On the front, there are several LEDs that show you the status of the DIR506L. There's a power status LED, USB status LED, Ethernet status LED, and wireless network status LED. And on the bottom, there's a swivel stand that allows the DIR506L to stand upright. To set up the DIR506L hardware, just open the back cover and insert the rechargeable battery. After replacing the cover, turn the DIR506L on and wait for the power LED and the logo to start flashing green. To configure your DIR506L, first download the free QRS mobile app from the App Store or from Google Play. Go to your wireless settings and connect to the default wireless network, which should be D-Link DIR506L. Now open the QRS mobile app and simply follow the step-by-step on-screen instructions. To use the sharing features of the DIR506L, first you'll need to download the free SharePort mobile app from the App Store or from Google Play. Plug a USB storage drive with the media and files that you want to share into the USB port on the top of the DIR506L. Make sure that you're connected to the DIR506L's wireless network. Open the SharePort mobile app. If you have changed the password for your DIR506L, you will need to enter it into the app the first time you use it. Tap the Edit button at the top right and enter your DIR506L's password. Remember, this is the password for the DIR506L and not for your wireless network. After typing in the password, tap Done. Now you can use the SharePort mobile app. The file section shows you all the documents stored on your USB drive. This includes things like PDF files and Office documents. Tap on the file to open it. The Photos section shows you all the photos and images stored on your USB drive. Just tap on the photo to view it. You can swipe to change photos. You can also delete files by swiping across them, then tapping the Delete button. You can also use the Edit button at the top right. The Movie section shows you all the video files stored on your drive. Tapping the file will play it. You can use the controls at the bottom to control playback. And there's a full screen button to the right. Tap the screen again to bring your controls back. The Music section shows you all the music files stored on your USB drive. Just select a file to play it immediately. You can use the controls at the bottom to control playback. The folder section shows you all the contents of your USB drive in a more standard explorer view. Tapping on the Uploads button allows you to upload files from your mobile device to the current folder. Just tap on the plus button at the top right 
Then select the files that you want to upload, then tap Done. Your files will be uploaded from your mobile device. Tap Refresh, and you can see that your file is now on your USB drive. The Favorites section allows you to save files to your mobile device for offline access. Here, we'll go choose a song and tap the star icon to mark it as a favorite. Now, in the Favorites section, you can see that it's being downloaded to the mobile device. After the download is finished, just tap on the file to play it. If you want to remove the file from your favorites, tap on the star at the bottom. The DIR506L is slim enough to fit in your pocket, is fully portable with its rechargeable battery, and even lets you share access to your media and files. For additional information, visit dlink.com.